In the race to end World War II, the brightest American minds are called to work on the Manhattan Project, including a number of unsung black scientists and engineers. In 1941, FDR signs Executive Order 8802, prohibiting discrimination in national defense programs. But black Americans working on the Manhattan Project are still subjected to racist treatment and segregated housing. Despite these barriers, many rise to the top. William Jacob Knox, son of a formerly enslaved person, becomes the only black supervisor overseeing uranium isotopes. Samuel P. Massey, a chemist, goes on to become the first African-American professor at the U.S. Naval Academy. And Carolyn Parker, a physicist researching plutonium, becomes the first African-American woman to earn a postgraduate degree in physics. These men and women help win the war and pave the way for future black scientific minds.